Hello everyone, what is going on? Raven here. Welcome back to The Sims 4. Now we have a very, very big exciting episode for you all today. First things first, I'm going to try to go ahead and travel with my sim after taking care of everyone else because unfortunately none of them know how to take care of themselves. So my teenager here can't even get herself to bed, so we're just going to do that really quick. And all the babies are crying, but afterwards... And that my child can't take himself to bed either because they're just weird. My sims are weird. They can't take care of themselves. We're going to quickly take care of this little baby. And then we're going to try to continue on with the Reaper Reward. Now, for all of you that know, there's only a few weeks left. The Reaper Rewards do end on the 16th. So this is something that needs to happen quickly. Unfortunately, I have triplets. <laughs> I have triplet infants. Why did I do that? I don't even know. I have no idea why I would do that. I, it, it's still blowing my mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some travel. We're gonna just just us go. Just like us, like me and you guys and our sim here. We're not gonna bring the family. So, last time we looked, the weather was horrible. And unfortunately, in the map like that, you don't actually get to see what the weather is. Just because it's a cooler day doesn't necessarily mean what weather it is. So we're going to go over here and take a look and see what's going on. Hopefully it's good weather, or at least a good day to fish. Oh, and it's not. It's, uh, it's snowing. Well, that doesn't help me at all, does it? And of course, I don't remember where to go for my fishing because, you know, it's been a while, so forgive me. Plus, I'm also liking, you know, I'm also like almost looking for other sims because I, and we gotta look for frogs because we have the whole little collection in our house. We're not gonna burn the leaves. And here's the... Here's where we need to go, as you can tell by the little glittering stuff. Unfortunately, that does not look like a very healthy, fishing, safe area. It, it, it looks like it's uh, a bit frozen. And, you know, that, that doesn't really help me very much, does it? Yeah, we can't even fish right now because it's so cold. Ugh. Oh. And they got some new kits that they show in the game now. Although that first one looked really good. I'm told Wedding Stories is broken. The other one, I'm not really interested in. So, that's just me. Let me know if you have those three in the comment section down below. Well, I guess now that we can't do that, I guess we're just going to have to go home. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do next. It shouldn't be too terribly long. By the end of this video or next video, we should be able to go fishing again. At least that is my hope. I should have just edited that whole part out, but I didn't. Unfortunately, and I could have just clicked on go home. Uh, I had the options clicked up on her instead of scrolling all the way down. I know I could have done that. All right, but I didn't. I chose to be awkward about that whole thing right then and there. And who knows, maybe I will still delete it. If you hear this whole deleting part, then you know I left it in here. Lucky y'all, right? So... I wish the loading screens were faster. Just a little faster. Okay, so what do we do now? I guess we take care of our kids again. We get the mail, pay the house, you know, all the normal stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not really... too happy about this whole other thing. And I'm going to sort the junk mail because even though I grabbed all the mail, I could still grab more mail because that makes sense. So 
So let's come over here and do this really quick. Now, feature me, editing me. There's going to be some new stuff at the end of this video. There's going to be a new career and a bunch of things that happen. So, back to recording me. So, now that we're back home and I did what I was doing, now we're just going to authenticate a whole bunch. We don't get a whole lot of money for that, but, you know, not that the Sims need money or anything like that. I tend to keep, for even though I keep getting these, you know, artifacts in the mail, I keep forgetting to, you know, authenticate them. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. And I keep seeing this thing pop up about make an heirloom. I don't know what we're going to make as an heirloom. It will be interesting to find out. But, uh, yeah. I also wish that fast forwarding time was just a little bit quicker. I just feel like it's so slow right now. And look, there's a high chair right over there. But for some odd reason, my my infants can't use them yet. Oh yeah, that's right, because uh, they have to be able to sit up. And... Oh my god. What? I, I literally don't understand what's happening right now. Like, why do they all have to cry at the same time? And why do... Why is it that every time they cry, she stops what she's doing to go check on them? And then she's not. she just checks on them, she picks them up and puts them down. Y'all remember that from last time. Like, no. Sim. Game. Alright, Rodolfo. Let's, uh... Can you take care of the kids, please? Like, why can't they just automatically take care of the kids? Like, anything that's under a child, the parent that's not being played should automatically be able to take care of the infant. Or the toddler, or what have you. You can't just rely on just one cranky old butler, or vampiric butler in this case, to do all that on her own. It just does not work. Or at least for me it doesn't. If that's what works for y'all, then cool. I won't be saying nothing bad about it. But for me, it, it doesn't really work. Because the butlers, it's almost like they feel like that's not their job. Literally, that's almost how it feels to me. Like, they just don't care. And honestly, they shouldn't have to be taking care of all the babies all the time. That's not really their job. You know? Okay. So, anyway, as I was saying, we're back. Sorry about that whole coming back into the commentary thing. My computer shut things off, and now, now I'm back. No, not to worry. At least I'm hoping I'm back. If you hear that again, my bad. But, uh, and I, like I was saying, I do wish the fast forwarding was quicker. I'm. I'm okay with the amount of time it takes to authenticate an item. I feel like that doesn't go too terribly fast because she's maxed out on that level. I feel like if she wasn't, if I didn't set her skill for that, I feel like she would be taking a whole lot longer. And it also doesn't help that these infants keep crying. You know, I just, I don't understand. I, I really don't get how Rodolfo here cannot take care of his own children. All he has to do is just super efficient baby care. I mean, come on, man. They're only little babies at this point. They're, they're, you know, it. I mean, I kind of get it. She's a breastfeeding mama triplets. So, you know, I guess I can't be too mad, but he is right there. You know what I mean? He is right here. Just standing here, picking his nose. I think that's what I feel like he's doing. Like, dude, we're trying to work on our authentications, okay? Like, 
Take care of your triplets. They're not just mine. It'd be different if they were mine. And I didn't have a, another sim to be a parent. Oh no, you're a parent too. He is on the, he is getting on my naughty list, honestly. The guy doesn't really do much to help. He doesn't, I mean, he's fertile. I give him that because all these kids are his. But <laughs> there's really nothing else good about this man right now. And it doesn't help that he's constantly, like, falling out of love with me. But it's like, dude, we all have responsibilities, okay? And these are your half eight, these are your alien babies. So you kind of need to, you know, you need to get with, go on with the program here. And you need to take care of your infants when I'm trying to authenticate stuff. Because this takes time and patience. And we're suffering because we have... To, you know, pump because we're not breastfeeding at this very moment. So, I, I honestly, the worst thing about this game is the constant needs need to be taken care of. Even for, you know, she's a witch, right? Or a spellcaster, whatever they're called in this game. And she can't just magically fix her own needs. I think that's ridiculous. Anyway. We finally have peace with the inf with the babies. I keep saying infants. They're going to become infants in this video. I'm I am so sick of the newborn phase. Future editing me here. I regret the infants too. Back to the video. And it is Winterfest and I have not prepared at all. So let's go ahead and type up what we need, which is, you know, first we're going to need a tree. So let's type that in. And my caps was on. Whoops. Let's take that off of there. And let's look for a tree. So I chose this tree because it was it's a lit up and it's all pretty. We're also going to get a box of presents. Now, why they're not here with the tree, I don't understand. That's what I'm actually looking for right now, but I don't actually see them. So it's almost as if, like, they're not in with the holiday tree, which they should be. Unless there's another section that it should be under. And, of course, I type in gifts because... Or present, yeah. And I was thinking, that's enough presents, right? No. No, sir. I need the big thing of presents. And we're also going to get a thermostat into the house. Because while that it uses up more money. And we're going to give one to the butler's little den. I hate when I'm moving my cursor and it just picks up things. I hate that. It drives me crazy. But, uh, my, tom my teenager, really? Man. I would love to get this in the game. But it won't fit in my house right now. We do add this little family bulletin, though. Uh... Will I use it? Eh, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Haven't gone that far. There they are. Okay. There's the presents. That's exactly what we want. Now, we are going to come over here into the Winterfest column and we're going to celebrate everything. So since we decorated, and I love how it just takes one or two things and it's like, check, you decorated. Cool. Now we have to cook. And luckily, um, excuse you, teenager. I can't help it that uh, you don't know how to take yourself to your bed. I can't help that. Why is that a thing? Why is there a nap together thing with a teenager and her mother? Why is it with the mod? Is the mod broken? Is seriously the mod broken? I'm literally... I don't want to nap together with my mom. That's weird. I think the mom and the daughter are wearing the same, color, the same outfit for wintertime. I think they have the same outfit but I think they're different colors so we should be okay and I love how like I will MCC her to be perfectly happy and healthy but the rest of them like Psh, whatever not my main girl not my main sim and oh my gosh I was about to be so upset if all those babies are crying again I can't handle it I cannot handle when the baby sims are crying I just can't do it don't you, you would. You would. You would. You would. Oh, God. Oh. Why? Why did I do this to myself? I am 
going mentally insane because I, I can't handle the crime. Oh my gosh. And I'm not saying that in regards to like my own personal life. Like I'm talking about the Sims. Three baby Sims crying at once is ridiculous. It's like they all just cry at the same time. It's like... Really? Like, y'all can't even... Oh. And the babies need to stop. Oh my god. I am so aging them up at, by the end of this video. I don't I don't even care. Like I, I I honestly can't handle all three of them being upset. Can't handle it. Because there's something different about hearing the infants in the Sims versus hearing your own infant. Right? Like, okay, my son is technically at four. He's not even an infant anymore. But oh my god. Would y'all please and the butler's doing a terrible job cleaning up all the dirty stuff in the baby's room. Oh, why is she all like flirtatious right now? Oh gosh. She did that kind of like I'm rocking thing. And I don't take the money. I probably should have. Make him a criminal since he was a kleptomaniac. But uh, we're not. We didn't do that. I thought it honestly sounded really sketchy. Be like, hey, you want money? There's no, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not falling for that. There, there's absolutely no reason to fall for that. And I hate how I tell her like, hey, go get food, and she's just like, oh, there's no food in the fridge, like that kind of awkward teen behavior. And why did the butler take my food? You have your own kitchen. I gave you your own kitchen. I almost wonder if there... I'm not going to do it for this episode. But I do wonder if there is a way to have more than one butler. Have the butlers be together? How cool would that be? That's probably not how this works, though. Okay, so since our attraction changed, he is not very happy with us anymore. So... I think we're going to try to fix this, but honestly, because romantic change, I, I don't know how I feel about that. And I always hate how people are like, hey, you know, I want to get to know this person. I think they're cute. What do you think? Why are you asking me? Why do you ask me those type of questions? I don't know the answer for you. And I'm also going to give them a master bathroom, which I'm actually going to do right now. And I, I'm honestly trying, it's been a while since I've had to move a room from one to another, but hold on, here we go. So we're going to copy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back here like so. Okay. Now I know I did not lighten it all up together. There's a little bit of wall that I did not get to yet. So that means because they need a master bathroom, I need to rearrange. So where can I put the frogs? I don't know why I was thinking in front of the door here, and I, I didn't like that idea either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them over there. But we just need to move the bookcase over a little bit. And there you go. That frog fits perfectly. Now, we need a door. So, what I'm thinking is let's do a double door. I think that would be really a good idea. Y'all might think it's ridiculous. But I am thinking double door. So, let's scroll down here and get to the double door. And I hate that there's stuff there. I think originally there was a windows there, but I just, you know, I, eh, which, 
That is way too ridiculous for that bathroom. But you know what? I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna get the, the double doors with the with the window on top, even though that's probably supposed to be for outside. But uh you know, I'm gonna let them have their giant ridiculous back and forth. Why not? So let's make an heirloom. Because I I keep seeing that around here. I don't know if that's from a particular pack or not. But I keep seeing it around. Uh, okay, so you made an heirloom and it's very special to you. Cool. But... Uh. Alright. We got... I... Should... Yeah, should I do the button now? Yes, no. Should I... Should I add the butler? I mean, she has been helping taking care of us. Mm. And it basically that little hitsibit there was like, wait, those two are not compatible. Doesn't mean it won't work. It just means that like, it's not easy. And that is just honestly making me very salty. I want. We were told that the attraction, if y'all remember, when those two first met, there was an attraction there, right? And that's why they have five kids together because it is incredible. We're not gonna do the butler. We don't need the butler. She's not a kid. She's not a sister. Whatever. Move on. But, you know, I'm also thinking at the end of this video, I want to, for next video, maybe increase the amount of sims in the household, but I don't know how to do that. So, while these sims open up their presents, let me know how to do that in the comment section down below. By the time I do the next video, I probably won't be able to see responses. My apologies. But I will see them when I can. Okay, I'm sorry, but why did the dad sound like he would had one in no part. And who is that messaging my child? Wh Why is a grown adult, me grown adult messaging a child? Creeper vibe. Okay? Just horribly creeper vibe. So, those two have like this little buddies and mischief, whatever. So, they're gonna talk for a while. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby. I am trying to let them stay babies for a little bit longer because I know once they're aged up, they're going to be even more annoying, if that's even possible. I don't know if y'all remember, but these, these, when, when they age up into infants, infants get annoying. They, they honestly really do. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna do what we can. And I'm done. So, <laughs> I'm gonna kill my sim. I'm gonna kill Rodolfo because they don't get along. He's not even helping with the kid. I'm done. So how do we do this? Which do we pick? We're gonna k use the evil rabbit. Wow. <laughs> I love how he says alas. <laughs> Grim, why would you say alas? Okay, we're, we're not even gonna try to, you know, get him back. I love how she just like does a little flirt. She's flirty while her husband's dead. Okay. Okay. Um, baby. Shh. Uh, and then this is part of the life and death pack that we just got. So, uh, which choice do we do? I, okay. I'm just going to have him be a ghost because I get an achievement for it. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep him very long honestly. Oh, now you're sad. Although she's still flirty. And Rodolfo definitely looks flirty. I want to do a, a challenge at one point where I increase the amount of sims or what I do is I have my main sim. I'll choose a different sim than this one. But like I'll have her and I'll have a ghost vampire, a werewolf, an alien, a mermaid, a spellcaster, 
And what I'll do... Oh, here's a funeral thing. So this is part of the life and death mod while I interrupt myself. So we can actually hire mourners. Um, so basically I'm just going to hire a bunch of random hoo-hahs off the street. Should not say hoo-hahs. It's weird. And we're going to hire an entertainer. We're going to do a... You know appropriate attire for a funeral and we're gonna do a couple things but unfortunately I don't know how to really do this so we're just gonna do a couple of options which we could do most of these if not all of them easily so and where should we do this and eh, I don't want to do it at the house I don't want a bunch of strangers at my house you know that that sounds silly to me the park perfect let's go so anyway, as I, was, uh, I, as I was saying, you know, I want to do a thing where, like, if you have a baby with a ghost, what will the, if you have a baby with a ghost, what will the baby be? Werewolf, vampire, what will the babies be? I'm not going to pick a bastard, I'm just going to let the game give me what it's going to give me. I did marry vampires before, and half of the babies are vampires, especially if you have a baby with Vlad. Very entertaining. Anyway. Now we are here in the park. It's beautiful. There's a little park bench and it's raining, which makes it even more gloomy. Um, yeah, so I just unalived a sim by way of rabbit. Who would have thunk it? Some of the options are very normal, like embarrassment, exhaustion, things of that nature. I wanted to go with something different. I'm probably not going to keep him off as a ghost. I mean, I, I, it's very cool that he's a playable sim. It's very cool that you can kind of control him. But I'm just not really all that interested. I don't really want to take care... Dude, you're flirting with me when it's my, fu my husband's funeral. Okay. So, if you're going to flirt, we're going to flirt. And what I'm going to do, what, what should I do? You know, I'm just going to talk to him a little bit. Oh, he's... Okay, so let's get this going. So we got to go into funeral, and then we can start doing this stuff. I love how as soon as I start talking, they're all just going to kind of walk away. I love that. Um, you know, yeah, we're going to make her happy. It doesn't really help much with our whole mourning thing. She's still sad, but her needs are taken care of. That's what's important. So we're going to do that batoffs or whatever it's called. And we're going to do some of these things. Now, next time I do a funeral, I want to make sure I try to do everything. Not that I want another funeral anytime soon, because I think one's enough. And I'm kind of surprised she's sad about this. They were not compatible, and he kept falling out of romantic interest with her. She, we constantly, for multiple episodes, had to rekindle the attraction because he kept losing it because likes would change. And so, you know what? He was flirting with me. I'm just going to cheat the romance. Because, you know, I don't have time for this. Which, this is terrible. Don't do this. If you just buried your husband or wife, don't just fall head over heels. Like my computer is constantly freezing in the middle of the game. And there's Grim. Grim's just chilling out at the funeral here. Grim, what? I was going to talk to you, Grim. I was going to talk to Grim, but he left. So we are unfortunately very sad, and it's very... S Why was the one flirting with us now laughing like Santa? Or... What, whatever they call Santa in this game. I, I honestly don't pay attention to Winterfest much anymore for the game. Uh, so. Uh, 
yeah, unfortunately we can't just do this. So, because I can't do it all because I don't have the urn. Do I have the urn? I don't. You know, I had one job. Put the urn in my inventory. I couldn't even do it. So, unfortunately for this man, um, we can't finish the funeral. So, we're going to end it. It was unsuccessful, totally. Which sucks, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And um, we're just going to move on because we're going to make this guy have a relationship with me too. Because, you know, I don't have time for this whole dating again thing. You know, but again, don't do this. Don't do it. Don't cheat after someone you love dies. It's not how life works. This is just how the game works, okay? And I love how this man was kind of flirting with me too. Land grab. You don't need to be flirting, okay? I'm gonna do it. Start and aim. Should I do it? Should I do it? I'm doing it. We are having him have an alien pregnancy. I wonder what Nancy's gonna think. Oh. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. It says we had available for three, but uh, clearly not. Next time we see... Yeah, unfortunately it's not really letting us do anything. We can either pick a boy or a girl. So, that's unfortunate. Um, they're just going to end up getting what they get. Unfortunately. So he could be pregnant with a boy. I think I chose boy there. Why are you rubbing that guy now? Wow. I want him to know what it's like to have an alien baby since we have had three alien babies with an alien. So it only makes sense that he have an alien baby with an alien too. Makes sense in my opinion. Because, you know, I feel like people don't get unless the alien is your baby. But, you know, we just unalived a sim. And, uh, do I feel bad about it? No. I should. It was kind of sad because she loved him, you know? But I keep thinking the fact that, like, he would fall out of love with her so easily. He would keep reminding us that he is not compatible. He would not help with the children unless I took control, which I can uh, kind of understand that one to an extent, but uh, not happy. So we are just going to heal. We lost our babies and uh, where'd the other urn go? Oh, snap. Oh, uh, guys, I lost the urn. It was in the baby room. Where did it go? <laughs> Where? Oh, honey, I know you're you're weeping. You're gonna be okay in a couple days. But like, what? I was kind of thinking that if she worked out some of her, you know, emotions. She might be okay. That's not how this works. Okay. I love that outfit, though. I don't honestly know, like. <laughs> where she got that from. I don't know if it's just whatever randomly the game picked. You know what I could use? I could use a- my sim could use a friend. So, I want Caleb Vitor. Because, you know, why not? What kind of vampire sleeps at night? Like, what kind of vampire sleeps at night? Okay? You're a vampire. You're supposed to be out at night. You know? Or am I just losing my mind? Hmm. Probably losing my mind. But that's okay. Because, uh... It don't matter to me very much. Mm-mm. And the butler's trying to help again. You don't help very much, okay?
we're gonna try this again. Invite to hang out at current lot. Hmm. Dude, I could use a friend. You're still sleeping? Dude. Dude. I'm sorry, but that, that just makes no sense. Don't you think vampires want to be out at night? Like a uh, Okay, so yeah, we are a widow. And she's sad about it, but she's also feeling inspired right now. So, that's cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, there was a project there. <laughs> I don't even know what project that was for. I, I couldn't tell you. you? Alright. Last time we cooked something in here. And uh, we let it go bad. <laughs> Whoops. My apologies. Let's cook something that everyone can actually eat this time. I hate that the game freezes. Anyone else find that that happens to you guys? If you guys are in the middle of playing The Sims 4 and all of a sudden it just freezes for like five seconds. Horrible. It's the worst feeling in the world. I should probably bring the ghost home. Though, again, I'm not going to really do anything with them. It's cool to see how they label things for the ghosts. And maybe in a different playthrough where I don't have a bunch of screaming infants, babies. Maybe then I will do whatever with do see all the cool ghost stuff. Like it said something about goo. You know what I mean? And I really need to stop using the MCC, but here we go. I'm going to give her lots of money. Because, girl, she deserves it. She so deserves it after causing her husband to die. Although they will never prove it. They will never be able to prove anything. Although you guys could, but this is just The Sims. It's just a game. It's not real. These people are not people. They are Sims from a simulation. Yeah? Or simulations for Sims, you know? Because, uh... I forgot I made her hair blue. She's also very sad her dad died. I don't blame her. I really don't blame her. But, uh, I feel bad that we don't really do anything with her. Dude, you're a ghost. Why are you taking food? I'm done. I'm, I'm so done. Like, I would, I would bring him back, but he, he's gone. He is gone. He will never be able to come back. Rip to the golf. Of course, I find it weird that he grabbed his own plate and then no one else was grabbing a plate. How does that make any sense? I don't know. I really do not know. Let's try this again, Caleb. I'm, I'm never going to join the kid to go to school. Never going to do it. Mm -mm. Caleb, yes! We finally get our little friend to come over. Oh, where's Rumble? Where'd he go? Oh, he's just sitting in my bedroom. That's cool. And the power's off. Of course it is. And don't mind that screenshot. I accidentally pushed a button on my keyboard. I hate that he runs so fast. Like, dude. He's literally playing the guitar. I gotta do it one more time, y'all. And I keep hitting the wrong button. But we're gonna set our friendship 
<laughs> in our relationship. Although, oh god, I chose the wrong. Uh huh. Did that just happen? Did did I seriously just have the teenager fall in love with him? Oh no. Oh no. Y'all. I am so paranoid right now. <laughs> I I uh had the teenager be the true love oh god. Dude. How could I do that? <laughs> like, what? You know what I would love to do? While I get these two to talk and have romance. Shut up, baby. Urgh. I would love to kind of combine some of my sims and other, you know, worlds of sorts. Like, there's one whole save where I have the charmed ones and their kids. And they even have Prue and Andy, even though they're both dead. I have them with their potential children that they would have had if they got lived and had babies together in the show. I would love to bring all these people into one save file, right? So you'll have the Charmed Ones, you'll have Twilight, you will have, you know, obviously this family. You will have... I want to do, like, the Vampire Diaries Originals next. I think that would be a really cool idea. Like, we can have Elena and Catherine, but instead of them being descendants or doppelgangers, I'll have them be twins. And I will have them both love Damon and Stefan Salvatore, you know, from the Vampire Diaries show. I even had Buffy. I had a, a save with Buffy the Vampire Slayer in it. I think all this would be fun. Now, the only tricky one from the Vampire Diary universe I think would be really difficult to make would be Klaus. Because if y'all know from the Vampire Diaries TV show is that Klaus is a werewolf and a vampire. And I don't know if that is a thing that you can do. I guess we'll just have to find out. And none of the flirting is safe, which means it was actually the teenager. Oh, God. Why did I have the teenager be the one to fall in love with Caleb? Why? I legit do not understand. I don't get it. How does that happen? How? So we're just gonna cheat move him in. Because I'm not fighting with it though. I feel bad for his like sister or whatever. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh boy. I don't know how I managed to miss that. Normally, I'm keeping my play on her, not not the kids. So, oh god, I might have to, you know, age up the teenager and move her out because I can't have her being in love with Caleb. If I actually did that, oh boy. I'm afraid to open up the teenager's, like, thing and look and see if I made those two, like, lovers or not. I am absolutely terrified to look at that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if I messed up that badly. And if I did, he's a vampire, and he's probably been a teenager or a young adult for a very long time. It's kind of like... Not to mention vampire dares again, but it's kind of like how Elena Gilbert falls in love with Stefan. Right? He's been a teenager for over a hundred years, right? And she's just a teenager, just in high school. God, why did I have it on the wrong sim night to have... Now I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. He's not a terrible singer. Mr. Caleb, I might have to have you be a singer as your career. Was anyone else expecting that? Because I sure as heck was not expecting that. And yeah, so we're just going to do this the old fashioned way now. He's actually living up his romance, which is apparently a skill. You know? Yep, yeah, romance is a skill. Did you all know that? 
Romance is a skill. It's not just something that you just do. It's a skill now. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Huh? That just shows... I, I don't know what pack was that from. Do y'all know which pack that one was from? I'm just changing Caleb. Which I don't even feel all that bad about because he was just kind of stuck. You know what I mean? I feel like he was stuck in this never-ending same boredom. I mean, he's a vampire, right? Does he even know anything about vampires? Or is he just one of those ones where it's like, oh, he doesn't know anything about being a vampire. I'm sure at some point in this video we'll take a look at his vampire level and we will see what we need to do for him. Though, my original plan for this video kind of went sour. So now we're just kind of going AWOL. Because why not, right? Why wouldn't we do that? Why... Why, why would we do anything other than just have a normal, calm, easy episode? I always have to have some sort of death, right? So, like, someone turns into a vampire, or, you know, someone dies, or I think about killing, ending a sin, and it doesn't happen. It's always something, you know? But these two are very compatible. They are compatible with each other. Now they are official. And I hate how it says they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I almost hate that. Not in the way you guys think. I hate it because... I'm pretty sure Caleb is a he. And she's a she. But I guess I can kind of understand it in the way of like... Those that are you know, they, them in the game. And if you made your character that way, that's totally fine. But with Sims that are labeled a specific he and then the other one she, they should say boyfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend, boyfriend, or girlfriend, girlfriend. Just my thought. I'm not saying anything against it. You know, if they want to say they are officially in a woohoo thing together. Cool. They are steamy. Because why not? Why not? Let them be steamy. She's got a new little bow just I think the day after you know the funeral. Oh, And I love how, again, I guess her, her thing isn't too bad. So she can do her homework. And then he can do his homework. He is very sad. He can read a book for fun, I suppose. Now that I'm going to have them woohoo because that's fun. You know, you're in a fresh new relationship. It's been 10 minutes, you know, and uh, I always say no to those texts now. She's like, but by drugs. Well, that's unfortunate for you. You shouldn't be doing those things. Oh, gosh. Gosh. These, ba these babies literally do not understand. You know, they're, they're just babies. They're just babies. You know, innocent, cute little green babies. That's all they are. Well, two of them are green. Because two of them are... Why do you have to do the flirty thing? You're taking care of your baby in front of the, in front of the butler. Aww. I've decided I'm going to try to accept as many of these jobs as possible for her because... Why not? She could say she was part of every field. Because I think that'd be kind of funny. And yeah, that's her computer. So I'm going to give Caleb his, you know, old computer. Because, let's see. 
Does this man know anything about vampires? All right. The power's off. That's fun. Can you imagine trying to walk through your house to take care of your baby triplets with the power out? And yeah, Caleb's gonna become a dad now. That's cool. And by that I mean because he's gonna start taking care of the triplets. Because my girl can't run fast enough to even go over there quick enough to take care of them. So Caleb is gonna be a good fit for that. He could run over there real quick and go vroom. And he could take care of the babies, and he could zoom from one baby to the other. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. Especially when, you know, losing my marbles. Uh, where is the teenager? Oh. Why are you in your brother's room? Why? Oh gosh. You poor th <laughs> You poor thing. You know, I guess what I could have done instead of unaliving her dad and deleting him, I guess I could have just, uh, you know, had them separate, you know, so that way she could still see her dad instead of just killing him. But, you know, un unfortunately, I was just too angry and, you know, she needed to be with someone that was compatible that would not fall out of love with her just because they're not romantic every two seconds of the day. That's not how relationships work. Okay? And I'm gonna try to have Kayla come over here and visit this house so I don't even know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? And by you guys, I mean you all watching right now. So, like, I say visit and it says he takes off his shoes upon entering. Try not to linger long. In the threshold. Why? What is this place? And honestly, I'm just trying to get him to come feed on somebody. I honestly don't know how vampires handle feeding without someone taking control of them. Like, how does Caleb do anything? How do any of these sims take care of themselves? I don't get it. And why... I mean, I guess I can understand. Originally, I was thinking it's... I'm so mad at this butler for running the vacuum while the babies are sleeping. But at the end of the day, when my son was a baby, that's what we were told to do. We were told, you know, vacuum and do normal things so they, they get used to sleeping over it. And we're going to age up Sydney first. I don't know why I chose Sydney first. I don't even remember what order they were born in. Okay. My bad. And next, we're going to age up Sean, who's also going to be sunny. Beautiful. And he's not even on his mat. And we got age up Savannah. If I ever had... Oh, calm. Perfect. If I ever had twins, I would... If they were twin girls, I would have probably gone with Sydney and Savannah or something very similar to them. Because I feel like that would have been... I feel like those are really good names for twin girls. You know what I mean? And I actually knew of triplets at one point, and the boy's name was Sean. So I went with the boy here, again, as Sean. And there's a new crib. Oh, that's cute. It actually helps with the heirloom stuff. Next time we have a baby, if it ever happens, we're going to do that. And I, I'm just going to put a casket in the middle of the floor there, because Caleb is probably not going to be able to sleep in a bed forever. And here we go. Three infant beds. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. Let's let's see what. Okay. We're gonna eventually set up this room the, more of a way I want it. Although my guess is I'm probably not gonna keep them as infants very long. If it's not by the end of this episode, it'll be next episode. They will be children. I don't even want to say toddler because dealing with infants and toddlers in this game, not that it's horrible, it's just it's it's not the most fun thing in the world, you know? So I'm trying to set up the little crib there for the windmill or the baby mill. The, the 
That sounded terrible. I am so sorry. The little thingy that turns around up top. I have not had a baby for four years, okay? So forgive me for not knowing what that little thingy is called. I don't know if it really helps much for these little infants. Sydney, don't you dare. Sydney. Sydney, 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 stop crying, please. This is why I can't handle it. Honestly, though, what I would do if I had a house like this, a lot of money, I'd probably just hire someone to just take care of just the babies. Or I'd hire like two or three people, one for each baby. Because why not? If you have nine million dollars, why wouldn't you? You know? Why wouldn't you hire people to take care of your babies? I would. I ain't getting up every minute of every night. Uh-uh. Not for triplets. Heck no. See, now that I don't understand how I keep jumping if I'm trying to do something with Caleb. I don't honestly get why it's jumping down to teenager. So I'm just going to take care of the kids' needs for a minute. Right. And then I'm going to go back to trying to figure things out with Caleb. With the computer. Because, uh, why not? Someone must have eaten all the leftovers. So, though, I don't even know how that's possible. There was leftovers in this fridge. Unless... Well, I'm thinking back, I did say to have it clean out. They must have cleaned out all the food from in there. Great! Now my teenager's gotta learn to cook for the first time, man. Well, at least she could do something simple. A salad. She's not gonna burn the house down. Cooking a salad. You know... Would I change anything about this playthrough right now? No. Maybe not killing the guy. Maybe not having triplets. Those are probably the two things I would probably not do. Although I don't want to save it because you got to see something new with the life and death pack. So I think that's cute. Though apparently according to Twitter aka X, um, you are able to do that very same thing with pets as well. So you're able to make a funeral for your pet, which... If you do want to look it up, you can look it up on X, aka Twitter. Um, and you will see that all over there. And if you guys really want me to, I could do that. But then I'd have to adopt a pet and unalive it. I'm not really looking forward to that. I could barely handle my own animals being put to sleep. I could not imagine, you know, doing that to another animal. But that, you know, that's just me. And, uh, yeah. If you guys really want to see that funeral, like, all the way through for a human or a pet, just say human funeral or pet funeral in the comments. And whichever one has more comments by the very end of it, I would do a funeral for one of them. I don't know what who I would do that for yet. I have zero clue as to what I'm gonna do yet for that, so don't don't expect anything right away, but if you do really want to see that I will show you. But because we have the life and death mod, little rumor is there's a new career, but we're gonna maybe get to that later. So why is it that every time I try to do something with, you know, Caleb to do something on the computer. It always jumps over to someone else. Can it not? Okay, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't know a single thing about vampires. He's a vampire. He's been a vampire for who knows how long. And he doesn't know a single thing. How is that possible? 
Is Vlad not teaching Caleb anything? Like, what? I don't understand. I do not understand. I almost wish that, um... The cribs were big enough that you could fit two or three babies in at once. Though I'm sure it's always possible. But, uh, I don't know it. No. Yeah, we're gonna miss work today. Because I just don't... I don't care. You know? We're gonna take care of the babies. And, uh, I'm probably gonna end up quitting this job, too. Honestly, because, like... Hmm... I wonder what the inheritance lawyer is for. I wonder if that's new. If I don't contact them this episode, I may do it next episode. Contact the inheritance lawyer. I think that's part of the life and death pack. So, if I don't do it this episode, I should hopefully remember to do it for the next one. Because, you know... You know what? Never Aww. mind. I'm gonna send her to work. I can't. I can't. She's late for work, but at least she went to work today. Uh, what kind of vampire doesn't know vampire stuff? You know, at least like with the Colons, right? They knew certain aspects of being a vampire. And even better example, the vampire vampires, right? They knew that they all came from one line, the originals. Okay. Now, they did not know all of them at the beginning, but they knew that each one of them came from a vampire that's older than them. Like, Catherine, or Katerina Petrova, or Catherine Pierce, whichever way you call her, I'll call her Catherine. She turned Damien Stefan. But she was turned by, I believe, Rose before that, who was turned by one of the originals. So, you have a whole line, and they know that. They know there's a huge line of vampire you know sire line but for this game it's like he doesn't this vampire doesn't know anything about being a vampire so I guess I would just have to help him be a vampire at least I got him to where he can have a blood pack those are easy they come instantly and who is calling my phone or Caleb's say what no punish. No other option. Just punish. Although I'm, I find it kind of funny that they're calling Caleb when he's not even like a stepdad or anything. But you know, I'm sure it'll be alright. I'm sure it'll be fine because you know, it's it's Caleb. You know? It's a male it's an, uh, the, it's a grown up figure in this household of lots of craziness. Oh my gosh, infants crying. <gasps> I almost wish there was a point where we could like give the infant a bottle and we can have them feed themselves. Like, why is that not a thing? Like, I'm sorry. Sean. I know that Sean. Sean was the only human out of the three of them. You need to chill. And the thing is, is that he is just so tired. If you guys want to read that, back up, pause, and read. Sean, I'm sorry. But, like, little man. Should I have Caleb marry the mom and adopt the kids? I think that would be interesting. Because then he, they would have a parent. Although, does that also mean that the mom would no longer be a mother? That is something that we will have to research. Maybe I will try it on one of the children. Maybe the maybe Sean, because it seems like those two get along pretty well. Ugh, says that as he cries. Sean. Sean. You need to stop crying, dude. My dude. My dude. He is just. Uh, uh, I love the glitch. <laughs> Demon baby. Run from the demon baby. And of course, Caleb the vampire is like, meh, demons, it don't matter. <laughs> Why is he happy being held like this? Oh, here comes the nanny. Oh, 
I always forget I put her bedroom upstairs. Don't ask why. Don't put him down. Oh, he's about to be so upset. Oh? Oh, someone had a blowout. Why are you putting him down on the ground? See, this is what I don't understand about the adult sims. They will pick up an infant, like Sean here, and then they'll place him right back down on the ground. Or like with newborns and do up and down in the crib again. Why do they do that? Like, is it just like their brains breaking? Or is it just the fact that the system is glitching? Is it like what could possibly be the reason? I should probably go visit my sister, but nah, I'm sure it's fine. I always wondered, are those two brother and sister, or are they lovers? I always thought they were brother and sister that were just vampires together. That'd be real awkward if they were in love and I just butchered that relationship because, like, oh, look at him. He's singing about our character and he's flirting. How cute! See, he is the one we need in our life because he thinks about her while she's at work and he's all happy and flirty as can be. Perfect. Unlike the other guy who'd be like, oh man, we're out of attraction with her. No. Rodolfo is officially gone. And we have Caleb in, instead. Go for it. And we need a pump because, you know, you know, when things get full and you don't get the breastfeed or pump for a while, they kind of overflow. Which, not that I had personal experience with that, but at least that's what the game is telling me. I wish I read that whole thing. I really should have answered that. I should have looked at that, but I didn't. I need to call Jeffrey Landgram and figure out what he wants. I wonder how his pregnancy is going. You're getting even more popular. Yes, we're popular. Even though we don't do anything. It's because we have this whole archaeological thing which increases our fame. So as long as we keep doing that once in a while. Why do I have a feeling that I already purchased volume 2? I didn't. I almost wish that for humans, like, you could just purchase the vampire tomes. Because it doesn't look like you can. Like, you have to actually research it online first. But it's a skill. Right? So you would think, because, you know, you got video games, you got the rocket science... You have everything else here, except for vampirism and I think maybe werewolves, but everything else you have. So like, what? Am I, am I silly for thinking that, you know, you should be able to just purchase the books instead of researching about the vampires first? I'm probably just silly, right? <laughs> right? I'm probably silly. Don't mind me. Do not mind me. Sorry about the, the crinkle. Sorry about the crinkle. Yeah, so we're... Oh, it doesn't... Yeah, we're going to go back to the computer, aren't we? Yeah, because we just have volume one. So, I love how I'm still looking in here. I know it's not in here. I know they're not in here. I know it's not. So why why am I looking again? Oh, I think that it's like I'm thinking. Oh well, maybe because I maybe I missed it. I didn't miss it. Although I'm getting extra extra skill books, so that's cool. Here we go. Let's order volume number two, and I'm getting more than one book in case I lose one. Okay. Um. Shoe. Narva. 
Oh right, it was in our inventory. <laughs> right. Hmm. Sean does not look very happy, does he? It's okay, mom's got it. A cool milestone. Aww. How cool. Yeah. So. But yeah, I was wondering what y'all thought of that. The whole trying to bring the vampire diaries to the game. That would probably be something I'd do after I complete the Reaper rewards or do as much of the Reaper rewards as I can because we only have as of, you know, less than 10 days. So, and I still have not been able to continue with it. Though I have a feeling that once I get past this point, the rest should be fairly quick. At least I'm hoping for the rest to be very quickly. And why are they always watching cooking in my bath or in my bedroom TV. Why is it always cooking? Who's turning on cooking? If that's our child doing that, dude, like, why? Hmm. No. Now I should take. Oh, okay. He's flirty again. I don't know about you, Caleb. I mean, I do know. I mean, you're a much better fit for our character. Oh my gosh. What was that drool? Was that. Was that. Face drop? Oh, God. Hey, the nanny took care of it. We didn't have to do it. It's all good. It's all good. It is really kind of frustrating how Sean, little infant in there, could be so tired, but will not sleep. Like, he refuses. I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> You're in your bed. I really don't understand. I really do not understand at all. It's silly. That man is learning more about vampires with me controlling him than on his own. Sad. And now I made him a perfectionist. I don't get how I do that. I really do not understand how I do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have her cook some food at this point, too, because, like... You know, the kids will run out of food so quick. If 
Why are you slamming the fridge? Don't slam the fridge door. That's rude. Like, I, I don't understand. I did not understand at all. At least Caleb is making himself useful, you know, which is always a good thing. New Year's Eve. I'm probably not going to celebrate that either. I just let him carry the kid on his back because like a vampire running around with a van- oh gosh <laughs> let's see if, how he does a, taking a walk a mindful walk what why can't he take the kid with him why can't the kid go with him that would have been so cute they should update that. You know, you could already have the kid on your back. You could walk around the house. Why can't you take a walk around the park with the kid? Like, do I need a strollers? Are there strollers in this game? If there's not, they should add them. For sure. Hashtag stroller for The Sims 4. That's gonna become a trend one day, I hope. That'd be good, you know? Yeah, we left that field to do the writing one. I think she'd be good at writing. So I think after this, we're gonna start having her write something. <laughs> Why is he just going around? <laughs> that was so funny. I don't know about y'all. I thought that was really funny. We're actually doing a new skill as well. We're gonna do more about that. I don't want to do too much this episode with that because we've already had a lot going on. But um, we will be doing more with that. So not to worry. It just involves writing obituaries I guess right now. And I'm sure there's other stuff to do. I'll have to research that later. Oh yeah, I'm actually going to put in an actual title. The Life of a Widower with 
Five children. Perfect. Oh, these dang children, I swear. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, she's got mixed up right. I forgot I did that forever ago. Family day. Huh. I think Caleb would make a really good dad. I'm gonna try and make him a dad eventually. Cause why not? Yeah, unfortunately now we're going to have to f clean up Caleb and the baby. Infant. So, let's give you a bubble bath and then Caleb can take a shower. Why are you using vacuum on water? That's not a good combination. Unless that's one of those vacuums that is safe for that. I don't really know... We're gonna sell it to publisher. Get the mail. A, a lot of these milestones, though, the infants will do on their own. So that's always good. So. Oh yeah, I actually opened up his powers and he doesn't have like anything. I mean, he has the running, he has a sun resistance. He has a few of the options, so it's not a horrible thing, you know, but uh, he should be definitely with more abilities in this by now. So we, we will help him as we go, for sure. First blow up for Sean. Great. Why are all these babies pooping out their clothes? Why are you down by the front door? Why are you mopping the baby? Why are you mopping the infant? <laughs> oh my gosh. Caleb, that is the best thing you could do. <laughs> oh my goodness. At least that's all cleaned up now, you know? No more stinky babies. I honestly could not remember who I have. It's okay. Just look at the picture, you'll know. As long as it's one of, as long as it's him. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna age him up because I'm just so... At least I'm aging up Ariana. Yeah, we're gonna... I think we'll have her do that. I think that's the new one. That sounds like the new one. 
so she could do that. And this is where we're actually going to move her out, the teenager. Though, I wanted to move her in with uh, Caleb's sister, because I thought that would have been really funny. But, I'm not seeing her as a household. Did, did they get kicked out of the house or something? I'm going to have to move. What I'll do, because she should be in, in here, the Forgotten. Yeah, she see what I mean? She should be there. You know, vampires typically live there. So, I'm just going to have to choose a house, unfortunately. So I will put her in the Forgotten. In the Hollow. I keep calling it Forgotten Hollow. And I'm going to give them some money. Because, you know, I'm giving them, you know, I'm giving her a roommate. So now we got three toddlers. Do we? No. Why is he laying in the tub? Why is he laying in the tub like that? Wow. Are you not going to fix it? Yeah, I'm just going to try for a baby, I think, at this point again. And all the crying. This is why it needs to stop. I'm going to age him up for sure. Again. More milestones. This is like the saddest part. 
See, I... I'm not gonna have... I'm not gonna change that yet. No, I probably should. But, uh... As of now, I'm not going to. Because we're trying to have a, a baby with a vampire. <laughs> so... Let's see how that happens. If that works out in our favor. It does not. Hmm. Now we need to try again. You know, it's hard to make a baby with all the <laughs> infants crying like crazy. Binapta.
charming trip. And we're back. Um, sorry about the little delay there. I wanted to fast forward a little bit. But uh, you're going to see the new career path. The Reaper career path. So basically, we will now get to become a Grim Reaper. How cool is that? So if you have the life and death pack... This will be the new career opportunity for you. We are going to learn how to reap a soul. We are going to learn how to do everything that Grim does. I think this is really cool. And honestly, coming into here, look how cool this looks. So, like, we're probably about to be there... Def we should definitely be in there by now. Look how cool this looks. I mean, this looks amazing. And it's not even the same thing as, like, the vampires. It's not the same as the, the spellcasters. It's totally different and unique, and I like it. So, let me know what you all thought of this video in the comment section down below. Enjoy the ending where we age up the infants. Or the... The you know, infants to toddlers and then up to children because I'm not dealing with that. Then we're going to also age up our older child to a teenager. And, um, yeah. So I hope you all enjoy. If you did, leave a like. I will try to not make as long of a video this next time. But because we're doing the Reaper Rewards and we got the Grim Reaper, you know, career path, it's going to be hard to juggle it all. But anyway... I will see you all next time. Bye!
Nilzi, Snubara, Dub Natimfi, Watanini Cha, Bisfala Nabo, Vinbeth, Uchino Golaga Kogan, Nilzi, Snubara, Dub Natimfi, Uchino Golaga Kogan, Mmm, Fine as a Boy, Ben CB Kogan, Frida. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Duel. Zabrista, Zarbstra Voy, Slufa, Pipped Up Frenzy, Kimba, Yadraz Boompa, Friends to Bay, Bobna Fran. 
Nibna. Thank you, Bushy. Oh. He's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Frinker. Probe Unza. Hilf der Lord. Unge Sanso. Oh, no. Pargo. Oh. Oh, Nibna. <laughs> Banana new? What boy?
Jabin, Longi Chul. Sabram.
Yama Upatash Dugu. Legra, Sagora.
Liberno Lurky Charky Amuki Shina. Chew. Oh. <laughs> Nukem Kalang. Yam Sabrita. Bepitation Magra. Grinoi Foibi. Snibara Watanini. Lumina Exine. Exinoi Zox. Wasusa. Luna Bissella. Tuga. Ah, ha ha! Just a mom, don't be sweat. Help and never shall leave. Wamba boy, Yambalala. Subau Habari, Umpa Nibahana. Muscalba, Misser. Skiba, oh. you move. <laughs> Sorbin, nurture. Or a bay. Simonis. Alphanes. Alphanes. Yamba. Wilba Hazel. Snurb. Emka. Oh. A trip need so. Thepit mom. Crib. Thank you. 
Avenue Smishy <laughs> Grinoy Foiby Fasanoy Oh In a Crab Soy Bay oh. <laughs> Shooby Rao <laughs> Benoy, Brisham, <laughs> oh, Slangy, huh. oh, <laughs> Insula, of Ween Day, <laughs> Zapine, Lavo, wanna choose Zorbo? Teams the dolphin. Turinga. Zarzub. Oh. Pali. Illy. <laughs> Sarli flashed a clue. <laughs>
Good boy.
something out of both boys. Can you? The Maza Blab. Oh, 